Hi, my name is Steve from the Seaside Allotment Channel and this is just a quick video about how we've decided to collect water off the polytunnel. It, this issue has been really eating me up over the last few, um, well probably months actually, whilst I've definitely been getting a polytunnel but I know that I've got this issue, how am I going to um, collect the water from it because I need that water, uh, especially over winter and in spring when the allotment doesn't have any uh, tap water available. And we think we've finally come up with a solution and I'm going to show you it today. Um, and first it's just, I'm going to show you what inspired me. Double sided sticky tape. So our basic idea was that if this is the polytunnel wall, then we could use double sided sticky tape here to fasten a flap of polythene onto the poly onto the uh, polytunnel wall and then that flap could go into the gutter um, and then we could put a layer of polytunnel overlap and repair tape along here to seal this edge and I'll just show you how strong this join is. So Debbie's going to demonstrate and she's pulling as hard as she can and she's just about managing to tear it. It is strong now there are all sorts of solutions for collecting water and I wasn't happy with any of them so the main one is uh, just sticking like a little a tiny gutter section onto the actual polythene skin itself and because the polythene skins all bend um, you can only really do that practically on the end hoops so in this polytunnel that would be you know only two out of five of the sections and that's assuming there's places um, to put my bin my water collection bins which there isn't so it would only be one section out of five which was no good so the other solutions involve having side rails on the polytunnel which I don't have so I was really struggling really really struggling and anyway this is what we did so we put these support stakes in uh, just down the side of the, the tunnel and they don't have to go that far in I think they're about 18 inches down or something like that and we fastened a gutter to those stakes and you can see probably uh, the way it looks on section there and then as you can see we fastened the polythene and it's just really neat and we've tested it and it's really good and so you can see the layers basically so this piece of polythene here let me just zoom out a bit this piece of polythene here is attached with sticky double sided sticky tape to the polythene skin and then it's overlapped with overlap and repair adhesive which just seals that joint just in case that erodes you know is the waterproof uh, nature of that adhesive erodes over time so hopefully it won't and then in the gutter itself and this is mainly a wind issue we've also put a strip of double-sided sticky tape down actually there and then we've stuck this polythene to that double-sided sticky tape which is attached to the gutter and then we've also put a strip of overlap and repair adhesive down there and again it's a beautiful seal there so I'm hoping that it lasts so basically that is the design and <laughs> so far it's worked really well now obviously this is the first day and uh, we've just tested it with a watering can and it definitely seems to work really nicely and it just drops water into this tank here and then uh, yes I'm missing the end cap there and then this tank overflows into that tank and that one is really just there for um, filling um, watering cans direct uh, without filling from a tap now the issue with this design and actually most designs or probably all designs uh, for collecting water off polytunnels is the water butt sitting on the ground so I'll show you my solution to that right now. So this is what it looks like at this end with the overflow. And I am going to fit a little bilge pump here. 
and I'll be able to pump it'll be attached to that fence and this fence is pretty rigid um, so I'm hoping that I can just attach the bilge pump to that uh, tap at the bottom there and then pump into this adapter here and I can fill this bin from this bin and I can also fill this bin because these two bins are linked and that seems like a real pain but the thing is this is mainly for winter and winter every drop of water is so precious so basically uh, this is the solution now obviously you know we may not need to use this that often because as soon as this bin's filled it'll overflow into this bin uh, and we can basically leave this bin uh, for as long as we want and then every now and again it's maybe 10 minutes work or something like that to to empty this bin but i don't think we'll be, be doing it that often because most of the time we'll probably be using this overflow bin and therefore we'll leave this bin full so that you know leaving that bin full in summer would be probably more of an issue um, but in winter it's not a big issue um, because we probably we won't get much algal growth in in winter now i might i've seen some people say that you can just put a few drops of jay's fluid into these bins uh, just to stop the algal growth so it's not absolutely perfect because ideally you know i would have put the gutter higher been able to lift the the uh, water butt higher and all that sort of thing but no matter what i did um i don't think i could probably get it perfect so i'm pretty happy with the way that it's gone the only other little points of note are that where the gutter kind of touches the um, polytunnel tube uh, i put a little bit of anti-hotspot tape just to cushion it a little bit so i don't get wear so that is it i'd love your comments and suggestions and feedback and all that sort of thing because it's uh it's taken me a long time to come with that solution and it's a bit weird but uh hopefully it'll work see you soon